G'day everyone, Anthony here from Digger. We're here to talk to you today about what to expect with where and what to keep an eye out for when you've purchased your rock auger. Hopefully you've seen our videos on the benefits of our rock augers. We've got the dedicated rock here and we've got the tapered rock as well. The way these work, as we've explained previously, is a point of attack. Now this point has to reach a down pressure load to burst that material out. If your machine hasn't got enough down pressure to burst that material, that rock, then these augers just become grinding augers. They will just wear away at that rock. If that is the case, you're going to see a lot of wear on your auger. You're going to see wear on your teeth mainly. You're going to see wear on your flight edging. And you're going to see especially a lot of wear on your pilot. Now your pilot is sitting in its own little hole that it's cut at about 150 to 200 mil, and all that spoil is sitting in and around that that or, that pilot. Now because it's got teeth, doesn't mean it never wears out. It's still a replacement part. It's still a wear part. The advantage is that you can replace the teeth, or you can rebuild the pockets up to get a bit more life out of it. But essentially it's sitting in its own cuttings constantly. And as you've gone down and the rest of the teeth engage and it slows down in penetration and you're trying to get that auger in and it's just sitting in its own powder, that powder will wear this part away. It will get in between all these bits here. It'll wear off your high bits. More than likely your auger's not turning perfectly round. It's gonna be moving in a bit of an egg shape as you're trying to get it in. So it's gonna rub on the side of that small hole that it's cut through there. So you're getting lots of wear, lots of extreme conditions that this auger's facing. So do expect that if you're in very hard rock, you're gonna get extreme wear. It needs to be priced into your job. Make sure your customers know that you're in the hard ground, you're gonna to have to pay for extra teeth, extra wear, maybe some build, rebuild work on your auger. So. So as we go in, we're, we're drilling away. You, these teeth are hopefully rotating, doing their job. If you've got moisture in there and water to keep it all cool, that moisture and stuff can push dirt up into these holes. So we recommend that you take that auger out of the hole quite regularly. Don't just leave it down there drilling away and smashing into that rock because that just superheats everything. You imagine you've got this part of the auger, that's all filled with dirt. There's no air getting in there. That, that's just a superheating oven that just cooks everything down there. You're gonna start melting the, the silver solder that holds the carbide in. That means your carbide's gonna drop off. If this tooth has stopped rotating, you're gonna get severe flat spots on that tooth. Again, that gives you premature wear. So bring it up, shake the dirt off, bit of water in the hole, check your teeth. Make sure that they're all rotated. Give it a, have a, have a dead blow hammer, a copper hammer, something like that. You give them a hit, make sure they're rotating. Careful you don't touch them with your fingers. Touch them with your fingers, they're gonna be extremely hot. You're gonna burn yourself. So with a pair of gloves, give them a turn, make sure they're rotating. It might be a case that a hit's not gonna get them freed up. You might have to knock that tooth out to free that up. That's your choice whether you wanna do that. Some guys will just go, it's a relatively inexpensive tooth. They'll just wear that tooth till it's gone, knock it out and do another one. But if you want to keep them working in their, in their top performance mode and making sure you get the best penetration, then keep them rotating. That's going to give you nice even wear. Each tooth should look like it's been in a pencil sharpener. It should just have nice even wear around here, carbide exposed so that it's getting penetration into that rock. So, you're gonna get wear on different spots of your organs. So between the dedicated and the tapered rock, different high spots, depending on how it's going into the ground, you will get wear. So again, when you're up, sight that auger, have a look, make sure you're not wearing into your pocket, into the gum where the tooth is. Once you've, once you've gone through into there, the tooth socket is, that's almost a cut out and replace. You're not gonna rebuild that. If you get it before you get in there, you can put a hard facing on it, 
You can put a bit of uh, high tensile steel, guys, or weld little weld wear pads on there just to keep that longevity of that auger going. So remember, vigilance, always be checking your teeth, make sure they're rotating, you're not getting flat spots, make sure you're not getting wear out of your pockets. Have a look that one of these carbides hasn't gone. If that carbide is gone, that parent metal tooth will wear very quickly. Before you know it, that'll be through and there'll be a big channel just worn straight through that pocket and you're going to be up for an expensive repair. So, we've got a bit of an example here of an auger brought into our workshop. So, as you see here, this tooth, or what is the remains of a tooth, completely gone. That, that will give you no serviceable life whatsoever. If that's to go back in the hole, that pocket will be gone within minutes. These teeth are all locked in. You can see this tooth here, big wear, that, that hasn't been rotating for a while. So it exposes the carbide. That means that carbide's gonna drop off and you've got this situation here where that tooth is gonna go. So that pilot will not have a very good serviceable life. So what do you do after you've drilled and all that sort of thing? You can't just put it away. You can't just put that auger back on the shelf. You need to have some maintenance, drive each of these teeth out, make sure the mud's out, bang them back in, ready for your next job. They're not a set and forget. Just like a sports car that needs a little bit more maintenance than your family car, these augers need a little bit more maintenance than your general purpose. So spend that little bit of time maintaining your augers, keeping them up to their pristine condition, and that will give you a great serviceable life on your auger. So if you need more info, drop us a line, give us a call. We're only too happy to help you out.